Kent here, North Carolina Ukulele Academy. I get a lot of questions about the technique of chucking, and chucking is basically just making this percussion sound as you strum. So um, let me play it again, just so you can hear it. That is the chuck. And pretty much what I'm doing, you wanna keep your hand really, really loose, and you're strumming with your nails, and then at the same time, stopping with your palm right after. What you don't want is a strum and then a stop. You want it in one motion, so it's strum, and then your palm stops it. It shouldn't, you shouldn't hear a difference between any chord. So if I'm actually holding a chord, you won't hear the difference when I, if I just did the chuck. You don't hear the chord, no, the chord sound at all. What you end up hearing is just that chuck sound. So um, the way that I like to show it is to actually, again, keep your hand really loose, take your fingers and just lightly strum the strings up here over the neck. And then as your fingers come off the neck and fall off the, the edge, let your palm just come down and land and stop the string. So very softly, strum the strings, let your palm land. Strum the strings, let your palm land. You're actually going in more than down. So you're actually kind of coming in this way. I'm strumming and my palm lands. Strumming, my palm lands. So if I, if I did that, once that is easier, do it a little harder, like that. Um, again, strum, stop. You don't want to strum and then stop in two motions, just one, one motion. And you're kind of throwing your hand at it. Make sure to keep your hand really loose. If not, you might end up punching the side of the neck and it, you don't want to do that. Um, anyway, the other thing too is if that um, doesn't make sense or makes it a little bit harder, another way to do this is to pretend like you're just patting the neck like this, patting up here on the fretboard. But before you do that, kind of sneak your fingers out. But you got to keep your hand really loose. Sneak your fingers out, kind of like you're padding, but your fingers come out before you do it. So you're coming down like you're padding with your fingers in, sneak your fingers out before you do. I tend to use just these two fingers when I'm playing pretty fast, but if you try getting all fingers by default, you'll, you'll end up getting a good sound. So let me show how to put this into a, into a strum. Pretty much what you do is you replace a beat with the chuck, so, or replace a down strum with um, the one that I want to show is actually what a lot of people call the Calypso strum, which is the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. If I counted through that, it's one, two, and, and four, and, one, two, and, and four, and. You're not actually hitting on the, on the three. So what you would do is you would actually hit the chuck on the two and the four. So if I show you what I mean, it'd be like one, two, four, one, two, So let me slow this down. Basically, it's gonna be super slow. One is a down strum. The two is gonna be a chuck. Then I'm gonna come up. And then I'm gonna come do the chuck again. And then up again. So down, I'm gonna do the chuck. I'm gonna come up. And then I'm gonna do the chuck, come up again. Do the chuck. And then come up again. Down, chuck. Chuck and and chuck and down chuck and and chuck and down chuck and and chuck and down chuck and chuck and down chuck and hopefully that helps if you have other suggestions please put them in the comments and uh, we'll see you soon